Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and welcome to our football construction site as we build the team through the 2018 NFL Draft. You always hear others say that this particular draft is weak or wait until next year to take this particular position or the draft is an inexact science. Well, we at Football Game Plan believe that all three of those statements are huge myths and we are here to show you why as we will infuse talent onto each NFL team to make them better. First, let us all get familiar with the mock draft rules. Number one, these mock drafts will be utilizing the grading system at football game plan scouting. So yes, some of the players will probably be graded higher or lower than what is seen elsewhere, which is why you will probably see some players in the later rounds or earlier rounds than they will actually go. Which leads me to my second point. These picks are based off what I would do as the GM, not based off what I think will happen or what will happen of what I've heard. They're based off what I would do if I were the GM, based off what I perceive the team needs to be. And finally, it's just a mock draft. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Also, to check out those rankings or gradings of these prospects, visit the website at the bottom of the screen. The New England Patriots own three picks in the top 100 and have already done an excellent job adding talent via free agency, so coming into the 2018 NFL Draft is going to be the icing on the cake for them. However, there are some important areas on the team that they will have to address. In round one, I went with the versatile defensive back Justin Reed out of Stanford. Reed can play corner, either safety spot, and will give Bill Belichick an athletic matchup defender with ball skills on the back end. Kicking off round two in the same way with Darius Leonard of South Carolina State. Football is a game of matchups and the Patriots lost a lot of matchups in last year's Super Bowl. Leonard is a versatile athletic linebacker capable of playing all three spots and so much improved coverage skills this season and also at the Senior Bowl. Kyle Lalletta to the Pats makes too much sense that it will probably not happen in the actual draft, but I don't care how many different workouts and diets Tom Brady tries to sell to the public, Father Time is undefeated and the Pats have Brian Hoyer one play away from being the starter. They have to address this position early in the draft in my opinion. Moving on to round three, and I like Sean Welsh's game out of Iowa. As long as head coach Kirk Ferentz is there, you can't go wrong with the Hawkeye offensive lineman. This is another area where the Pats could stand to use some youthful talent. Bilal Nichols of Delaware had an impressive East-West Shrine game weekend, to be quite honest, an impressive career for the Blue Hens. Again, versatility is the name of the game, and Nichols can play anywhere up front. Traverius Ward of Middle Tennessee State comes from a program that has recently put out some terrific defensive backs over the last three seasons. Ward has good technique and the instincts and quicks to play inside or out. And finally, I went ahead and selected Marcus Martin out of Slippery Rock to round out the Patriots draft. I listed him as an athlete because despite him being one of the most prolific pass rushers in Division II history, teams have been working him out as a fullback. This has Patriots pick written all over it. Martin will be a terrific pro no matter what position he ends up at. So that's a wrap for this edition of Building Through the Draft. If you want to watch our other NFL team seven round mock draft videos, as you should, be sure to subscribe to us on the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan, where you can also catch all of our FBGP scouting prospect ranking videos and also subscribe to Football Game Plan Podcast on iTunes and check out the Scout Team Podcast.